I didn't know he was going to say this. I want you to know. He's saying, tell us the long-term picture uh, on oil. Uh, we should have a cap on carbon emissions in America. Al Gore is 100% right. We have a huge crisis facing the world and us. And we're the worst polluter on the planet. We're in this wonderful competition with China for that honor. And what America should be doing is capping our carbon emissions. That cap needs to come down every single year. In other words, the cap is going down. And under the cap, we need to reduce eight, our carbon emissions by at least 80% uh, by the year 2050. Now, we might have to do more, but that's the consensus, the aggressive end of the, of the scale right now. Um, I'd make below the cap, I'd make the polluters pay. In other words, if you're still putting out carbon dioxide, you've got to pay, participate in an auction and buy a permit to do it. That will generate an absolute minimum of $30 billion. Some people argue, the environment, some of the environmental community argues it goes up as high as a tree. I don't know what the number will be, but I know it's at least $30 billion. That money is invested in wind, solar, cellulose-based biofuels. Now, I should say, there are some differences between the Democratic presidential candidates on some of these issues. Um, I have a difference with Senator Obama and Senator Clinton, for example, on nuclear power. I am not in favor of building more nuclear power. Uh, I think there are a variety of reasons not to do it. They create a danger. We don't have a safe way to dispose of the waste. They take forever. They're expensive to get online. Uh, and I think we ought to actually have a moratorium. This is another difference. A moratorium on uh, the building of any more coal-fired power plants unless we have the capacity to come to the carbon, which we do not have to. We should be invested in that. Um, and then finally, I think we need a president who asks Americans to be patriotic about something other than war. Who says to America, we're going to have to commit ourselves to changing our behavior. We're going to have to conserve in our homes, conserve in our workplaces, drive different vehicles, plug-in hybrids, for are just an example of what's possible. And um, but we need a president. I still remember, and some of you will too, the famous John Kennedy inauguration speech. Ask not what your country can do for you. We need a president that instead of promising everything, says we are in this together. And what we do together matters as a national community, whether it's on energy and global warming, whether it's on the environment at large, whether it's on poverty in America, all these big issues that America is faced with. We need to bind together as a people around a common belief system, which I believe is core. It, what, what, they, what the other crowd does is they try to pick out the things that divide America and then use them for their own political benefit. How about if we actually had a president that bound America together to unite around a common belief system, which is much more important than the things that divide us? That's what we need in a president of the United States, somebody who actually believes in you.